Hello everyone, welcome to Peeply Fresh and uh, good morning from Pisa. I'm still staying in Pisa, so uh, so far I'm liking the city. It's uh, quite calm and quiet compared to Rome or Naples where I stayed earlier. And uh, yeah, it's quite a beautiful city, very calm. And uh, so today didn't have any massive plans and uh, Oh, behind me uh, there is a sculpture of uh, Galileo Galilei. Uh, most of them are uh, written in uh, in Italian, so you have to use the Google map to find out what exactly is this thing is. So the plan is, uh, well, there is no plan, so I was just Googling and uh, uh, apparently, well, uh, most of the time I was in these big cities, you know, like uh, uh, big cities and uh, like a tourist spot so i thought today we will go and explore some italian villages and uh, when i was uh, looking i found uh, luca which is a half an hour train ride from here and uh, so far uh, what i know is uh, in luca there is hundreds of 101 uh, churches in luca that one little city or village whatever it is so plan is uh, go to luca explore a little bit and uh, see what uh, what we can what we can find there so everyone welcome to this new video so bought the ticket for uh, luca and uh, it is on platform six looks like every 20 minutes half an hour you got trained to luca so so we are going to find the platform six oh, we found the platform six so we are going to look and uh, explore look look a little bit so see you in luca looks like we got the double decker train uh, to luca so yeah it's uh, looking nice Hello. The train is uh, going to Florence, uh, so it's stopping in, uh, in Luca. And, uh, it's quite empty. I don't know. Is it usually empty or we are in the midday, so maybe uh, it's not that busy this time. So yeah, nice comfy chair, and it's only a half hour, half an hour drive. Uh, ride. So yeah. So we are going through the Italian countryside and uh, you can see that uh, plenty of uh, plenty of farms, houses here and there, a little mountain. It's quite nice, quite beautiful. So behind me is the uh, train station and I'm going uh, in front of train station is this big wall. Apparently this uh, Luca is a wall city, so let's uh, go straight and get into the uh, old town. This is uh, some old uh, walls and uh, all the cities inside. Well, uh, the the old cities inside this old wall. So and a little little stream in front of this uh, old city. So this is the very very old uh, city wall, you know, to protect the protect the protect the city, and uh, this is the entrance. So just get inside. It's quite nice when you get through that uh, city wall. It's like a, a nice path and uh, people are uh, jogging, walking around, cycling. This is the path, uh, looks like the path is going around the old town, old city. And uh, 
Yeah, it's quite uh, nice, uh, nice view here. So we are still on the wall, and uh, so down there is the old town. So there is a uh, steps going down. Those uh, steps. Uh, so we'll take the step, go down to this uh, old town. So far, I'm liking this uh, this uh, town. Little uh, coffee shops and uh, people are sitting outside and chilling. And uh, yeah, yeah. So we will uh, just explore some more. I found this uh, cute cafe in Luka and uh, yeah, it was uh, nice looking inside and uh, on their menu they got this uh, gluten free and uh, vegan options. So yeah, so this is where we will be eating today and uh, the ambience is nice. They also got the second hand book stalls here. It's like a little cute town with plenty of shops and uh, uh, cobble streets and uh, plenty of bakeries as well. So uh, we bought some little uh, cake from one of them cafe. So we are sitting in this corner and uh, enjoying our cake. There is lots of things to see in uh, Luca, but we came a bit late. It's already four o'clock. So when I googled it, it said uh, the best things to best thing to see in Luca is the Duomo di San Martino, the main uh, church in uh, Luca. So let's go and explore the church first. I don't know. Is it a, a shopping place? This uh, Luca because there are plenty of little independent boutique shops you know like proper leather uh, some shops you can smell the uh, smell the leather and uh, uh, shops for shoes and shops for hat and uh, all look very fancy very nice so maybe I missed something maybe it is a shopping destination I think I'm uh, we are slowly walking towards the the, the main cathedral so, oh, looks like doors are closed. Let's go closer and have a look. So that is a beautiful uh, Luca Cathedral. And uh, the ceilings are so beautiful. And also plenty of stained glass windows. There is uh, plenty of these uh, paintings and uh, this one is the Last Supper uh, painted in 1500 by Jacob Robusti. I don't know who is that but uh, yeah, it's a painting from 1500. So we came out from the cathedral. We only was, uh, visited the cathedral and uh, it's 3 euro to visit cathedral and another 3 euro if you want to climb the bell tower. And uh, another another three euro if you want to. Uh, there is a there is a museum um, showcasing. I don't know uh, the picture showing like gold crowns and all that stuff. So that's the cathedral museum, 
and I just noticed that uh, they don't open today. Uh, they only open on the on Mondays and uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that's the uh, that's the museum if you are coming to Luca. It's uh, just uh, next just next to the cathedral. I just realized that uh, Luca got a very famous summer festival, and uh, big brands, big names are coming to perform here. You can see Celine Dion and. Uh, and Pink Floyd and uh, all that big names yeah so definitely a popular place then so I really enjoy that enjoy Luca what are they doing so we came a bit late and uh, uh, we went to that church and uh, the cathedral and also we walked around the main fair and uh, now we are going back home it's uh, getting darker now so we are going to the train station now so we had a quick visit of Luca quite nice town very nice and uh, and uh, we are back on the train now so I will see you all next time bye bye